What's up guys, DV Apps here. Today I'll be showing you how to increase your audio quality using Audacity. So I've been using Audacity for about 6 months now and it's dramatically improved my audio quality. Before I used to get these weird hissing sounds in the background or just some electronic fuzziness in the background and especially because I'm doing tutorials, people couldn't hear what I was actually saying. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Audacity and it's actually pretty simple to use. It might look a bit intimidating at first but it's actually really simple. If you use a video editor before, it will be like 10 times easier than that. Firstly, you just need to download and install Audacity. You can do that by the link in the description below. Now once you've downloaded and installed it, just open it up and you come to a screen like this. Now from here you just need to choose your microphone. So obviously right now I'm using my microphone so it won't let me change it but it will actually be a drop down so just click on it and then select your microphone from there and then for your speakers you can just leave that default or if you want to like connect it to your headphones you can just select your headphones from there and also lastly you just need to change the input volume so right now I've got it at 100% you can lower this if you want so just firstly start recording and if you see that this meter over here is getting too high you can lower the input volume now I've just opened up a project from last time I was recording and this is how it look like once you finish recording so again to start recording it's this button and to stop recording it's that button and if you want to just pause the recording it's the pause button and now to play just click anywhere over here and then click on space now just to do some editing in audacity the basic functions are to select audio you just click on it then drag it and then you can do ctrl x to cut it ctrl z to undo that action and to copy you can just highlight it then ctrl c and then click where you want to paste it then ctrl v and it will paste it there now that's just some basic editing what if you want to add some effects or make your audio quality actually better to do that we use effects so there's a lot of effects and you can actually go through and you know select the ones that you find that you need because for everyone it will be different and i can't really show all of them all at once i'll just show some of the more popular ones that most people will probably need so the first one we're going to use is called noise removal so if you have that like fuzziness or you just want to remove a noise in the background that you hear in your recording just record a couple of seconds of your audio and then just select it. Now go to effect, noise removal and then get noise profile. Now select your whole audio clip or the part of the audio clip that you want to remove the noise from. And then click on effect, noise removal and then click on ok. Now another effect that I use is called equalization. So I just select my clip that I want to change and then go to effect and then go to equalization and then I do a treble boost click on ok and then I go back into e equalization then also do a bass boost and then click on ok and that just gives it a more richer sound and it just sounds a lot better now once you're done with everything to save it just click on file and then export so I'll just put it on my desktop and I'll just call it audio now if you want to save the project file just go save project as and then you can just save the project file. That's all for this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Let's see if you can hit 7 likes in this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace.